don't be afraid to fail. Uh, because if you're afraid to fail, then you're always holding yourself back because you're afraid that if you go all out, you may fail. Well, in weightlifting, we learned that very quickly. The only way you could break a record is if you're willing to fail. That's when you put on more weight, you try it. Sometimes you maybe don't, you would not be able to lift it, uh, which has happened to me many times. But eventually, when you train hard enough, you will lift it. So don't be afraid to fail. I mean, how far can you fall? Here's the goal, and whatever it takes to get there, I will do. So I was doing my daily work, cleaning the guns and going to the shooting range, marching 20 miles a day and crawling around up hills with weapons, running at five in the morning with heavy combat boots and all of this stuff. And when everyone just almost drops dead at night, he's totally exhausted. I worked out three hours and got up early in the morning again to do my sit-ups and my push-ups and my chin-ups. There was a clear conflict, a dilemma, because the lifting was not a traditional sport for them. They didn't like the idea. They didn't even have the equipment. I had to go and figure out every way possible to do dips between chairs or to put a bar across two chairs and to upside down rowing. Everyone would say, this is the wrong direction that I'm going, or I'm in a dream world, that I'm useless. But whatever it was, I said, I'm gonna break through that. No matter what it takes, I needed to reach that goal, that vision that I had of being a world champion. Use your power of potential and make this nation and this world a better place. It worked for this immigrant that came over here to this country with $20 in a pocket. And I know and I guarantee you it will work for you too. In Austria, kids were conditioned to follow the parents' path. But unlike other kids around me, I was very determined that I have to get out of there. And then one day, I saw the cover of a magazine of Reg Park. And it says, How Mr. Universe Became Hercules. I opened up this magazine and I read through it. And there was the whole plan laid out. I asked myself, Arnold, what is it about you that is so different? Why are you the only one that sees it so clearly, this goal, going to America and winning the Mr. Universe contest and getting into movies and making millions of dollars? No one else talks about this amount here. Is it real? Is it just a crazy fantasy? But wait a minute, Rich Park did it. Then it's possible. Arnold, focus. The key thing is to be focused. Visualize your goal. And I saw myself standing up on the stage just like Rich Park and it became more and more clear Arnold, you've got to go. I said I wanted to get into acting. People said, no, you have an accent and you have a body that is too big and your name no one can pronounce. Be realistic. It's the 70s. Today, Dustin Hoffman, he's the big shot. Al Pacino, little guys. Woody Allen, sex simple. Even when I ran for governor, they said, are you kidding me? I mean, he can never win, give it up. But I didn't pay any attention because I said to myself, what did I do? When they said, you can't go to Germany, you can't compete in a junior Mr. Europe, that I did not listen to the no. I went and it worked out. And I used that attitude as a blueprint for the rest of my life. Think big, because then you're gonna get big. Then you're gonna go and achieve big things. That is the most important thing. You know, We don't achieve big things by accident. So shoot for the top, shoot for the sky, shoot for the, you know, uh, for, uh, for the stars. That just shows you again so much for it can't be done. This is why I try to tell you anything and everything can be done if you can visualize it and if you believe in yourself. It was the same thing again when I ran for governor. You can imagine when I went on the night show and I announced that I'm going to run for governor of the great state of California. 
People came to me afterwards and said, you're crazy. You don't announce something like this on the Tonight Show. You have an official press conference at the state capitol. Plus, you don't start with governorship. You go start first with mayor or with state senator. And I said, I don't want to be senator. I don't want to be mayor. I want to be governor. Don't you understand that? <laughs> well, the rest is history. I won in 2003 and I won also in 2006. And let me tell you, you're going to find the naysayers in every turn that you make. Don't listen. Just visualize your goal. Know exactly where you want to go. Trust yourself. Get out there and work like hell and break some of the rules and never ever be afraid of failure.